I know. I get a lot of grief for my sloppy um, work. This is a little trolley test. Okay, we're not looking at a balancing act. We just want to look at the engine, see how it's running. The reason this is exciting is, for me anyway, this is a DC, AC to DC conversion engine. Oops, wasn't showing you the fun part. Okay. Um, so this is a AC flyer motor and I've replaced the armature windings with super magnets. And it works. Works good when it doesn't get tangled up in all the crap. Okay, fine. That's it. All right, well, the idea is I built this a long time ago and I was never really happy with the running of it. And I found two things that I changed just this morning. One was the backlash was set to, it wasn't set actually. Let's see if I can get this to focus for me a little bit. Um, when you pull the wheel forward and back, you can see the motor in, in the in the normal engines, you can see that the motor moves a little bit. And here, it doesn't move hardly at all because I've shimmed it just enough. There, you can see an air gap that disappears right there, see it? So it's like about maybe five thousandths clearance, that's about it. But that's about all we really wanted. So that gives us a much smoother operation. The other thing I changed was the armature that I had selected was the wrong plate width. I had an older motor and it has narrower, thinner plates. If you notice, this is a Pullmore armature and it has really thick plates and it, and before I had a, a non-Pullmore and it had thin plates, and I read an article that says if you don't match the width of the plates, that doesn't run as smooth or as well. So I went to a Pullmore armature, and the th thicker plate is what I've already converted here. Um, what I really want to experiment with next is a thin plate armature that I convert to magnets with a thin plate non-Pullmore motor. And I then want to measure how much power am I getting out of the old low power motor can i convert low power motors to a high power dc motor i don't know i'm thinking i can because these magnets are super strong and it really enhances the ability of this thing rather than winding a coil and sending 12 volts we've got a permanent magnet fields that are energizing and sending forces down so i got a hunch this i'm going to keep and run but i'm also going to look for an older armature that I can convert like I did this one and measure that and see how it works. So well, anyway, that's an update on my AC to DC. I had kind of threw in the towel because I was having so much trouble and then I realized what I was doing, thinking, reading, I don't know what, but I thought, you know what, I should look into that. And by golly, those two things helped tame this. It's kind of a wild animal. It's like a Mustang horse that wants to run, but it doesn't know how and where so I think I'm taming this conversion and I'm gonna try another one and see how that works okay so that's that update now I'm gonna go back to my bulkheads and fireboxes which is lots of fun later